Member for Surrey White Rock. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I'm uh, actually very thankful for the opportunity to speak on, on this motion. Uh, it's an important one, and we are at a crossroads when it comes to housing. We've been at a crossroads for a number of years now. And the fact is, is that I, I did hear a, a member talk about um, lands and selling of lands and how they sold lands in the 90s for housing. And I, it reminds me that actually in 2014, it was the BC Liberal now United government at the time that sold 800 hectares to Heisla. And some may know the former chief of Heisla who may be sitting to my immediate left. What did they build on those 800 hectares? Homes. Homes. That's what they built. And we talk about today, the fact is, is that, you know, and we hear, um, I think in the motion, uh, it, it mentions speculator. And we hear in 2017 that this government was going to build 114,000 units. And so, you know what, if you do the math, if, if the premier would have donated the money that he got when he flipped his condo, which was $150,000, if he would have donated a dollar to each of those homes that they promised to do, he'd have $36,000 left over. And so I think that, yeah, they got to be careful with, with the language they use because you might want to look in the mirror. You might want to look inside a cabinet room. You might want to look at the premier's office and have an understanding of what may work for them may not work for others. And they, when they're in that cabinet room, they might want to look at the table and they might want to look at the Minister of Transportation. And they might want to say, Minister, are you part of the problem or are you part of the solution? Because when we see the backlogs of permits from the Ministry of Transportation and how that's affecting housing right now, that Ministry's got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. Because I can tell you, whether you're in a municipality or you're a developer or you're, you're looking at development in cul-de-sacs or other areas, the Ministry of Transportation has a role to play. And right now, I don't know if the Minister of Transportation is aware of that role. Because they've got an enormous backlog. So they can point at the municipalities, which they do, and in some cases they definitely should. But they better be looking around that cabinet table to say, are you doing your job? So when we look at the issue, and I heard the member previously said that single family homes are gone. We've had another minister say that the last generation of home ownership is gone. So where are we here? We've got two government MLAs that are saying the ability for home ownership has passed us. And now we have another MLA saying no more to single family homes. We just heard it less than five minutes ago in this house, verbatim. You know, the, the biggest problem that any government has is when you have a tendency to overpromise and underdeliver. My riding, I see it every day. It's a lot of seniors on very fixed incomes. This government campaigned on a renter's rebate. It's now, after seven years, finally got around to do a renter's rebate that you got to apply for, you get denied for. Um, we have an absolute crisis across this province when it comes to housing. And I think it's, it's at a time where they can mock solutions that others put forward, but they, they don't have enough political capital in the bank to be doing that right now. Because I can tell you there is not one person in this province that would give this government a pass on the current situation we have in housing. I know for a fact that's the existence of my riding. When I am spending my weekends at, at different areas because they can't even get through to the Ministry of Housing because they don't have heat and hot water, like let's start with that. Let's get those problems fixed. But 
Mr. Speaker, I think that it's imperative that this government, this premier, this cabinet take a long look in the mirror and figure out if they're part of the problem or the solution. Thank you.